you got to abide in me. He said, you got to stay with me in order for you to get what I, I, you asked me for. You can't expect me to do stuff for you and you leaving me. And then you're talking about, well, Lord God, I don't pray that God ain't did. He answered my prayer. You ain't stuck with him. So why am I going to do something for you when you ain't staying with me? Hello? Amen. Now, I'm going to make it plain, Gary. I'm going to make that plain. If your wife, if you left your wife, and uh, you ain't stayed with her. You left her. And then you call and say, hey, I'm coming over for dinner today. I need for you to cook me something. And then I, I got a few clothes I need you to put in the washing machine for me. And, and, and I also got some stuff I need for you to stitch for me. And uh, I'll be over there in th about 30 minutes to, for you to take care of all that for me. And she going to look at you and, on the phone. First of all, when you get to the what you need, going to be hung up. Don't come by here, nigga. You left me and you expected me to still do stuff for you? I'm just making it plain. We leave him, but we still have an expectation that he going to do stuff for us? And we done left him? And we get mad because he ain't answering our prayers? You done left him? Uh-oh. That's as plain as the nose on your face. Somebody touch your nose. And says as plain as the nose on your face. 